Tesla's extremely expensive now? Let's find out. The crisis going on in the world currently has impacted the market of so many things. Now, people are trying to shift to electric cars as soon as possible, due to the increase in gas prices. At the same time, Tesla has had to increase their prices because of the high demand. It has caused a lot of stir, which is what we will discuss in this video today. So without further ado, let's dive right in. In Beijing on March 15, Tesla Inc. raised its prices in China and the United States for the second time in less than a week, after CEO Elon Musk said the US electric car maker was facing significant inflationary pressure in raw materials and logistics. The increase comes as costs of raw materials are surging, aggravated by supply chain disruptions following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Prices of metals used in cars have ascended, including aluminum that is used in the bodywork, palladium used in catalytic converters, and nickel and lithium that power electric vehicle EV batteries. The costs have elevated concerns about EV economics, as legacy automakers and startups prepare to launch new cars on the back of a long semiconductor supply crunch that is still knocking production at companies including Toyota and Volkswagen. Tesla, which has an expanded supply chain, has bought millions of euros worth of aluminum from Russian aluminum giant Russell, CNBC reported, citing internal documents. Tesla bought Russell aluminum for casting parts at its new vehicle assembly plant outside of Berlin for the Tesla Model Y, among other things, CNBC said. Tesla raised prices for all its models in the United States by 5-10%, to 10 its website showed. In China, it raised prices of some China-made Model 3 and Model Y products by about 5%. Recently, the company increased the prices of its US Model Y SUVs and Model 3 long-range sedans and some China-made Model 3 and Model Y vehicles as well. Tesla also updated its delivery timelines on new vehicle orders and it showed that many models, especially the Model Y, are sold out for the year in the US, even after the price increase. There's currently a rush to order electric vehicles as the technology gains in momentum naturally and of course due to the gas price increase. For Tesla, that has resulted in a significant increase in its order rate in several regions of the United States. The best way we have to track the backlog of orders is to look at Tesla's delivery timelines on new orders on its online configurator. Tesla updated all of their delivery timelines across the lineup and it is showing a strong backlog of orders especially for the Model Y. The base version of the Model Y, which now sells for $63,000 after recent price increases, is now being delivered between January 2023 and April 2023, according to the online configurator. Tesla enables fast delivery if you order more options like bigger wheels, the full self-driving package, or the performance version. But a new order with any of those options will still push the order to the second half of the year. The Model 3 also got delivery timeline updates, but it is actually a lot more reasonable than the Model Y. The base version of the Model 3, which is Tesla's cheapest vehicle starting at $47,000, is still getting a delivery in 2022 for new orders around July to September 2022. You can get the Model 3 one month faster by adding the 9-inch wheels, which are $1,500 more expensive. I don't know if that's worth it. You can also gain a month if you want to upgrade to the Model 3 long range from June to August 2022. The performance version is listed as being delivered around June to July 2023. The Model S also got an update and Tesla also has a noteworthy backlog of orders on its flagship sedan. Though that's not necessarily because of a surge in order, but the fact that Tesla is still catching up to a backlog after the vehicle was out of production for half of last year. New orders for the base version, which now starts at $100,000 after a recent price increase, are now being delivered from November 2022 to January 2023. You can get the car a bit faster by adding options like with the other models, but don't expect the car until later in the second half of the year. The situation is even worse for the Model X, which was out of production for even longer than Model S last year. The very based version of the Model X with a 5-seat configuration is not getting delivered until the second quarter of 2023. If you choose a 6- or 7-seat configuration, you can get it sooner, but you're still going to have to wait until at least December 2022. Model X Plaid has a quicker delivery timeline of August to October 2022, but it is only available in a 6-seat configuration. However, adding the 12,000 FSD package doesn't really affect the timeline of the Model S or Model X like it does for Model 3 and Model Y. Anyway, this wraps up our video for today. What do you guys think of this price increase? Let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.